The 2019 weed tour was held last week at Michigan State University's agronomy farm. The annual event gave participants the opportunity to look at research plots, compare corn and soybean herbicide programs, and participate in some short field presentations. In addition, many fields remain unplanted this year, causing significant weed control challenges for growers. The most prevalent weed popping up in fallow fields across the state is glyphosate-resistant mare's tail. So the MSU weeds team is researching the best strategies to control that weed. About two weeks ago, we had um, an area that was pretty uh, fallow and we had a lot of glyphosate-resistant mare's tail that showed up in there. And one of the things that we wanted to do is test out some different strategies. And it's kind of nice, we've got about 10 to 11 different treatments. Um, we've looked at uh, just disking the field, mowing the field, as well as looking at about 10 different herbicide treatments. And we have some very good results on uh, things like uh, Liberty worked very well to burn down some of this taller uh, mirror's tail. Also uh, sharpen combinations with glyphosate. Right now, to date, those, uh, those strategies have worked the best. Um, the key thing is if you're gonna be using some of those strategies, um, you know, glyphosate plus 2,4-D is also being used. If you're gonna be putting in a cover crop or if you're gonna be planting wheat, make sure that you follow those rotation restrictions. So that's a big thing as we move forward. The important thing is trying to get some of those acres, especially that haven't been planted, the weeds under control because I've seen a lot of mare's tail out there and those are producing about 200,000 seeds per plant. And you know that stuff flies around. So this has probably been, I think, the worst mare's tail year that I've seen. So I think we wanna to try to Make sure we can kind of keep that seed source down.